and welcome to my channel Shellarte. Today I'm bringing you a review of the 120 pencil set from Arteza. I'm going to be comparing from the 72 the extra pencils that you get in this set and I'll be swatching out the new colours so you can see whether you would want to purchase the 120 set for the colours that you get extra or not. Um, that is entirely up to you but that's what this review will be doing which is showing what um extra you do get so i'll just put that to the side for a second and i'll show you this box so i've taken all the wrapper out and when i showed you on my happy mail video so the tin it is slightly thicker than the 72 set tin but it's all the same got the logo on the side and Base got this lovely illustration on the front and the 120 unique colours of artist quality, 4mm lead, brake resistant, blendable and acid free. And on the back, I've just opened that, I can't get it back in. On the back, you've got a list of the full 120 colours and the light fastness that is on the lid on this side as you can see and one plus is excellent light fastness two is great three is good and four is fur which i would always look at it the other way that four is the most and one is the least but not in this case so as you can see they come in the same trays as the 72 set they are these flimsy plastic trays so i would suggest that you get um a pencil case to be fair because my 72 set they've ended up on the floor don't know how many times through these cases so you get one sorry about that two trays and they're not in any kind of order really so definitely have to um stay in view uh, third tray sliding on my surface and a fourth tray so as you can see there's not any there's no difference to the 72 set in the effect in the effect of how it's laid out they come exactly the same they could probably be best having some kind of pulley that you can hold them with rather than trying to grab these plastic hinges here at the side because they're not they're not very good and to actually grab hold of so i think that's the downside of our teaser pencils so i'm going to take these out oh, okay. oh that's actually more than four <laughs> there is there's another layer here oh some are broken transit I don't think they've actually brought. I think the pencils are too long for the tub, so they're like hanging over. Oh, you've got some metallics. We'll have a look at them. So let's just get them out of the way. I want this colour chart that's on the top of here. So let's have a look what's in this one compared to the 72 set. So in this one, they no longer have the lemon, uh, they don't have the ivory, so that's, I'm assuming, they've taken that out. Oh, actually, A075 is now jasmine yellow in the new set, and it's ivory in the 72 set. So we'll swatch that out. I 
I'm going to have to find these because they're not in order. Okay. Let me sort these pencils out and I'll come back on in a second. Okay, so I have sorted all the colours out now. These are all the ones that are different and I'm going to swatch them out. But first of all, I would like to just do a review on the pencils themselves. Now, I've noticed that on the 72 sets, and mine are about a year old now, if not a bit older, but I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let me just bring this down into better light. So as you can see, this is an older pencil out of the 72 set and the markings, the writing and the names and the numbers and everything are really, really shiny and really clear. And on the new 72 set, okay, I'll show you on this one. So as you can see, there's like, this is, there is worse ones, it's just finding them. So you can see there's like impurities in the printing, there's lines through them, which are not very, and some of them are hard to see. And then I've got one that has no markings on at all. And it's not one of the new ones, so I'll have to find out which that is. And then the other one is this fuchsia. I don't know if you can see all the wood is all broken underneath the coating. So obviously I will send pictures of these to our teaser and get that sorted out. So I have no idea what that blank one is. Okay, so in this box here, I've got all the ones that are new. This box is really not good either. So here I've got the metallic, so I'm going to do them first. Let's put that back in the tray as well. Bring this over to the middle and I'll zoom you in. So we've got unicorn purple, which is not very, isn't that purple at all to prefer. So I'll just do a nice little swatch of that. Silver. Now I'm putting hair pressure on because I want to see how metallic they actually are. Gold. Copper. Dreamy blue. And I wouldn't say that the they're not that brilliant of the metallic. I don't know if you could see it. I'd say the silver probably is. The copper's quite disappointed in the dreamy blue. They're not. I wouldn't say that they're the best metallics I've used. And they're not in any kind of order. So, and what I want to do as well.
that they've changed the name of ivory to jasmine yellow so i just want to double check that it is still the same colour So, ivory yellow, this is the new one, this is the, oh no, that's yellow sapphire. Don't even think I actually have it. Okay, so So these are what they've changed so as you can see this is the ivory from the the 72 set and then this is what they've changed it to which is jasmine yellow so you can see they both have the same number they are different colored barrels one slightly darker and this one's slightly lighter so this is the new one And then this is the old one. And I would say <laughs> it's ever so slightly darker, the new one. So let's get on with swatching. And then you can see, so this part, I will speed through it and you can see, because they aren't in any kind of order. And obviously this is just a quick um, one because I'll be actually um, swatching them out properly when I get need to organise them all. Sky blue. Would help if you could see what I was doing, wasn't it? So that's sky blue. Midnight blue. The 
they feel, I don't know if it's me, but they feel a bit different to my normal Arteza. Royal purple. I'll leave that one. They feel a bit scratchy. I don't know if they've changed the set. Some are really soft and waxy like my normal ones, but that last one I've just used was a bit scratchy. I don't know if anybody else has come across that. Egyptian blue. Sea blue. That feels like a normal artesia pencil. Fluorescent yellow. Spearmint green. Parakeet green. Apple green. Jungle green. I thought in the 72 set there was quite a few greens anyway, so I think they needed more lighter blues to refer. That's jungle green. Deep a teal. I think they needed more like really icy blues they were short of in the set. I think you're still lacking in blues to be, to be honest, that I've noticed in here. Set for greens. So let's get oranges on this side. Pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange. Ginger. Vermilion It was lacking in reds in the 72 set and I do think we've got a few more reds in this which is good Spanish red Rust orange.
this one. Venetian red. Passion fruit red. It looks more brown than red. It's more like a terracotta. I won't even say it's passion fruit red to be honest. Earth red. red cherry red I apologize that this is not the neatest color chart ever but it is just purely to show you what colors you're getting extra wine red. It's like a deep, it's like a purple. They don't feel that, I don't know if it's me, but they really don't feel like they normally do. It could just be me. Raw Sienna. Raw Sienna. Hazelnut Brown. Some of these feel really chalky. They, don't, they normally feel black between waxy and oily, but these are strange. I haven't crossed that burgundy yet. That's it. Oh, yeah, burgundy. Again, it's more, I would say, on the purple side. Salmon pink. Watermelon pink. Orchid purple. It's a real nice purple.
little puzzle map messy. My gosh, I don't think I was a colourist the way I'm going on with this. Uh, violet. I should have put my mat on here first. Underneath, but I didn't. That's violet. Royal purple, which is more of a bluer purple. That's worse or better. Okay, what are we missing from here? We've got onyx black. Is that here? Nope. One's broken in transit. Just gonna sharpen it. Onyx black. Like a grey black. I've got two broken with lead somewhere. Oh, this isn't a good sign. It's breaking as I'm sharpening. Not had a good rod in transit, I don't think. So, ash black. Again, it's more of a grey, warmer grey. Some concrete grey. Storm grey. Koala grey. Mushroom grey. Wouldn't that be good for skin tone, mate? Cloud grey, or cloudy grey. Missing one of you, burned umber. Shadow grey. Oh, 
Oh, this is another one that's funny. You see here it's all missing some of it. Uh, fog grey. Storm grey. Which is extremely close to that one. Fog grey. Oh, mushroom grey, sorry. The quiet. It's just these remind me of the warm ones in the Prismacolor. Dolphin grey. Cream. It's in cream from here. It's a new colour. And last but not least, steel grey. I'll go back over some of these because they look a bit grainy. Get rid of that white so you can all see. It's quite all right, that one, that green one. But I would say these are like your 10%, 20%, 30, 50, 75. I would say these are. And then you don't have as many warm, well, probably concrete and shadow are probably the warmest we're going to get. Just filling in them white areas that have been left. So I can show you them all. Probably is a very true salmon that. They're definitely not true to the coating. Is a lot brown.
second. Got some nice um, skin tones in this one. Passion fruit red. Passion fruit red, where are you? Deep teal. Quite a lovely bright green that. I'm just deepening them up on this spearmint green. Fluorescent yellow. Egyptian. Egyptian blue. Sapphire blue. Midnight blue. Persian blue. Persian blue. Okay, so as you can see, these are all the colours you get in the set extra to the 72 set and along with the metallics I'm just going to move it around a bit see if it picks up some of them are good You pick up a shine so that is the extra pencils and there's no difference this is an old out of the 72 set these are from a year ago they're all the same I'd say actually just lift that up a bit not enough room I would actually say I think they're a bit thicker. 
Can you see that? Barrels, I would say, are slightly bigger. But the actual lead or the pigment in the middle is the same size. So that continues that uh, concludes my review on these pencils and I hope that this gives you some insight into what colours they are extra. I am slightly disappointed because if I just get my 72 set again and show you what I mean and if you've got a 72 set you'll know exactly what I mean. And I'll show you this. But there was lacking in blues. So you've got your blues here. They're quite tealy. And then you've got your, your more cooler blues here. So I was expecting there to be some really like icy blues. And some more brighter blues. But they're more similar to what's already in anyway. So I don't really see where they improve, they've improved on that. So I'd say quite disappointed. They've added some more greens when they've got quite a lot of greens there where possibly there could have been a few more reds because there isn't many reds still. Um, and they've only added two extra pinks. Well, you don't... There's not a big selection of pinks. Um... So I think they could have looked at it better and made better choices that sense. There is more greys, which we all like. I like having greys. So they have improved in that area where they've got more greys. And they've only added a few yellows, which, like I said, they've got quite a lot of yellows and oranges. It was reds that they were out of, but the reds are here. So they've added one, two, three, four, five reds. And there's only two three reds in the 72 set so i hope that you've enjoyed this review of the 120 pencil sets there is some flaws in them in my set the tin doesn't fit properly um so let me just zoom you back out so you can see everything better Okay, so I hope that helps if you want to buy the extra 120 set, if you think you benefit from them extra pencils. Um, obviously, I, you would benefit to a certain degree, but I am, like I said, disappointed in the blues. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've been as honest and open as I can. The tin's the same, the trays are the same, the pencils... The wood of the pencils is slightly bigger um, than the ones in the 72 set, but that's probably just, they may have used a different wood. I don't know, that's just speculation. Um, but yeah, that's the RT's 120 coloured pencil set. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. And I do live feeds, I do tutorials, I do colour alongs and reviews of products. Um, so if you'd like to see more of my reviews, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So thank you very much for watching Shell Arty today and I'll speak to you on my next video. Goodbye.